Hey, what will you answer if I tell you volare? If we went, oh, good job. Now this has got to be one of the most famous question and answers in the history of music. I think it's as famous as pa 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 pa. Ciao, sono Pietro. I'm an Italian certified ESL teacher and I have been teaching English as a second language and Italian to non-native speakers for more than 15 years. If you want to listen to some Italian songs, understand the meaning of their lyrics and learn about the Italian language and culture in the process, you've come to the right place. Today we are going to translate the lyrics of Nel Blu Dipinto di Blu, aka Volare. This song was written in 1958 by Franco Migliacci and Domenico Modugno and it was sung that same year by Modugno at the renowned singing contest Il Festival di Sanremo. Now it became so famous the world over that the title Nel Blu Dipinto di Blu had to be modified or rather expanded to include that single word volare which so characterizes this song. I have to admit that I have been singing this song wrong my whole life. Or rather, I didn't know that there were two moments in this song. One in which the author is dreaming and he dreams of flying in a blue sky with his hands and his face painted in blue. And he sees the world getting smaller and smaller down there. And the other part in which the author wakes up but he is not at all disappointed because he sees the blue eyes of his beloved one and he's quite happy of being down here. What about you? How many words of this song did you know before listening to this video? Well, you can tell us in the comments below. Repetition is king here as in many other songs and I'm more than positive that by the end of the song you will have learned how to say to fly and to sing and many other things after just one go, and you will never forget it. Okay, on to the translation. And let's start from the title, Titolo nel blu, dipinto di blu, which is literally in the blue, painted of blue. Nel is the union, union of in plus il, it becomes nel, dipinto di blu, painted of blue, or painted in blue. First verse. Penso che un sogno così non ritorni mai più. I think that a dream like this, or that such a dream, will never, ever come back. Now, I used the future tense, even though this ritorni is, is a subjunctive verbal tense, just, just so you know, don't bother about it. So I think that such a dream will never come back. Mi dipingevo le mani e la faccia di blu. I was painting the hands, meaning my hands, and the face, meaning my face, of blue. And this mi dipingevo is an imperfetto tense. Here, the author uses the imperfetto tense dipingevo, which cannot be translated exactly in English. It is the verbal tense used for, among other things, fairy tales, or telling dreams, or it is used by children when they play, like I was Superman and you were Batman and we saved the world. They would use the imperfetto in a sentence like that. They usually end in avo, evo, or evil. So back to our translation. Poi, d'improvviso, venivo dal vento rapito. And this means then, all of a sudden. You can recognize the word improvise or improvisation, meaning something that happens, you know, all of a sudden, in real time. And the improviso, it has the same root, of course. Poi d'improvviso, then, all of a sudden, I was, even though literally this would be, I came by the wind kidnapped. I was kidnapped by the wind. Then, all of a sudden, I was kidnapped by the wind. And I was starting to fly. E incominciavo a volare. 
Uh, once again, in perfetto, incominciavo, and I would start, or I was starting to fly. Nel cielo infinito, this means in the infinite sky, you can recognize infinite here, cielo is sky, and nel, once again, is the union of in plus il, becomes nil. And we go to the first chorus, very famous, volare o o, cantare o o, we do like our o vowel, uh, volare means to fly, or even you could even say, oh, flying and singing, to fly, to sing. Uh, nel blu, dipinto di blu, just like in the title, in the blue, painted of blue. Felice di stare lassù, happy to be up there. Now, stare actually means to stay, but it would be more natural in English to say happy to be up there. And lassù is really the union of la, which is there, plus su, which is up. And now la should have a stress to distinguish it from the la without the stress, which is the. This one has a stress and, and it means there, okay. Up there and the S doubles. E volavo, volavo felice. And I was flying, flying, happy or happily. Now this felice could, could be an adjective like happy or an adverb happily. And I would fly and I would fly happily or I was flying, I was flying happily. Più in alto del sole. Più in alto del sole means higher than the sun. Uh, literally, più means more in high, more in high, so higher than the sun, and still more high and higher still. Ancora means again, still, yet, once more. And it has the same origin of anchor, like when you ask for one more song, anchor. On the other hand, the same word, but with the stress on the first syllable, ancora, means anchor. You know the thing that you use to anchor a boat. Mentre il mondo, pian piano, while the world, il mondo is the world, pian piano, remember we found it, we found this double piano, so to say, in a previous song, l'italiano, it was piano piano, Pian piano is the same thing, it means, in this case, slowly, only that repeating the word two times makes it even slower. So, while the world, slowly, slowly, spariva lontano laggiù, would disappear, or was disappearing far away down there. So, was disappearing, or would disappear far away down there, in la Ju is the union of la plus ju, okay, and the letter G doubles, okay. Um, una musica dolce suonava soltanto per me. So this literally is one or a music suite, because in Italian we don't always have to put the adjective in front of the noun, so before the noun, so a sweet music was playing just for me. Okay, and now let's go to the second verse. Ma tutti i sogni nell'alba svaniscono perché? But all the dreams in the dawn. Now this is nel, once again, is the union of in plus uh, la, in this case, because alba is female and usually they go together, okay. Nell'alba, so all the dreams in the dawn, even though in English it would be more natural to say, to say all the dreams at dawn disappear because. Think about the, the word vanish and you will find something that resembles it. Vanish, vanish, see, so disappear or vanish. But all the dreams at dawn, they vanish because quando tramonta la luna li porta con sé. When it sets, tramontare, usually it's the sun that sets, il tramonto is the sunset, but here we are talking about the moon. When it sets, the moon, uh, it takes them, the dreams, 
with her. Now, I, I, I'm referring to the moon as a female because in Italian the moon is female. So it, it just sounds to me unnatural to, to refer to the moon as it. So here I wrote it, but then I couldn't help writing her. Ma io continuo a sognare. So, but I continue to dream, but I keep on dreaming. But I continue or keep on dreaming. A sognare is to dream. Negli occhi tuoi belli. Negli is once again the union of in plus gli, which is pronounced gli in Italian. Occhi tuoi belli, eyes, you're beautiful. So I continue to dream or I keep on dreaming in your beautiful eyes. Che sono blu come un cielo tra punto di stelle. And how are these eyes? Well, they are as blue or they are blue as a sky quilted with stars. A trapunta is like a duvet or something like that. So quilted with stars. It should be quilted of stars because D is of. And then it's the last chorus which changes slightly because the author now is down here uh, with us, with the rest of the humans. Volare, o oh, o, oh, cantare, o oh, o, oh, oh, to sing, uh, sorry, to fly and to sing. Nel blu degli occhi tu, tuoi blu. Here it changes. In the blue, nel, once again, in plus, il, in the blue, of degli, the plus, gli, gli. Occhi tuoi blu, of your eyes blue, of your blue eyes, in the blue of your blue eyes. Happy to be down here. This time is not up there. Lassù is down here, okay? So this is the union of qua, which means here, plus giù, which means down. So this is literally down here. And once again, stai means Stare means to stay, but of course we, we, we'd better translate it with be. Happy to be down here. E continua a volare felice, and I continue, or I keep on flying happy or happily. Più in alto del sole ed ancora più su, just like in the previous uh, choruses, higher than the sun and higher still. Mentre il mondo pian piano, while the world, slowly, slowly, or just slowly, gradually, scompare negli occhi tuoi blu, disappears in your blue eyes. And here, sorry for the uh, very bad handwriting, uh, it was bad all the way, but here it was particularly bad, so I rewrote this word. La tua voce è una musica dolce che suona per me, it means your voice, but if we want to be literal, this is the, your voice, we do love how our the article in all its forms, in this case la, La tua voce, the your voice, is a music, sweet, so is, your voice is a sweet music that plays for me. And then it gets to the last chorus, which concludes the, the whole song, and it's once again volare o oh, oh, cantare o oh, o oh, o, oh, nel blu degli occhi tuoi blu, which means in the blue of your blue eyes, felice di stare qua giù, once again happy to be down here. Nel blu degli occhi tuoi blu, felice di stare qua giù. And then it ends with, with you. Okay, so, so happy to be down here with you. Con is with and te is you. Tu uh, could also be you, but in this case it's te. Don't worry about it. Te and tu can be translated with you. Whoa, that's great! You've watched the video till the end. So if you like videos like this, hit subscribe, click on the like button, and above all, welcome to LIS, learn Italian songs, learn Italian with songs. Bye, ciao!